those of you who think you've got a day's work ahead of you that may well be insurmountable, well, we've got some inspiration for you. You're about to meet a woman who's made it to the top of not one, but four of the highest mountains in the world. She's the only American woman to do it, and her latest challenge is the daunting trek up Mount Everest. We're wow. going to be talking with her. 8,000 is a kind of a magic number for mountain climbers. There are 14 peaks on the planet over 8,000 meters high. It's about 26,000 feet. The goal for many climbers is to conquer all 14. Well, our next guest is the only American woman to have reached the top of four of them. And now Christine Boscoff is about to attempt to conquer another, the biggest of them all, Mount Everest. The expedition comes some seven months after she climbed a 26,000-foot peak in Pakistan. That journey is the subject of the documentary, Gasher Broom Ascent on G2, which airs tomorrow on the Travel Channel. We talked with Christine Boscoff just before she headed off for Mount Everest. Why do you want to climb all of these mountains? When I first started out, I, I wanted because it was adventurous. You know, I used to be an electrical engineer, and it was, some, it, was, it was a change from my normal life. And then I got into mountaineering, and, and I found out it was not only that, but it was a physical and mental challenge of the sport, of, of trying to push yourself as far as you can go to achieve the summit. It's this adventure of exploring these places and meeting these people. Let's talk about your most recent expedition. It's Gasher Brum 2. Uh -huh. G2, we'll call it. Yeah. It's a little bit easier for us to say that. <laughs> uh, uh, tell us a little bit about that. How long did it take you to climb, and what sort of problems did you run into? Well, a year ago, I, I applied for the permit with, uh, with Pakistan. We, it, G2 is in Pakistan, and, and the trek into base camp, uh, you start out at the last village. It's called Ascoli. And from there, it's a uh, 11-day trek into base camp where you won't see another village. You won't see any more green grass. And, and we had over 200 porters we brought in. And they carried all of our supplies. And then uh, once we got there, uh, we, we experienced avalanches. We experienced storms. We experienced, we went up, we tried for the summit three times before we were successful. I saw that you, you were buffeted <laughs> by storms. Is, is that average for these types of climbs, all the problems that you had on this one? Uh, sometimes it goes really well. It's like clockwork. You go in and you might be able to climb an 8,000 meter peak in three weeks. And, and the reason it takes so long to climb an 8,000 meter peak is you're getting acclimatized to the altitude. So you can't just go up there and, and climb to the top. Or you, you can't, or you get sick and you die. What do you eat? On these trips. I've always been curious about this. You're working your way up the top of a monster mountain. What kind of food do you take with you? You know, and, and so many people think you bring dehydrated food. Yeah, you're thinking and space for MREs, NASA stuff. you know, yeah, all that But I saw stuff. that, that nah. your favorite is not that. But tell me what your favorite is. Well, I, I, I'm a Pringles fan. <laughs> Pringles. Uh, it's but real high-tech food we're high -tech talking to get food, you to the yeah. top of these mountains. <laughs> yeah, but what, what we do is, uh, like, for example, um, Evers. I'm bringing over 30 pounds of sausages for high in the mountain. Um, bringing cheeses, bringing uh, uh, salmon pate, you know, really nice crackers. And we're bringing this, these, these things that boil in the bag. The, the dinners are already prepared, so we might have lamb curry or we might have uh, vegetarian chili or, you know, just a whole bunch of different really good meals mm -hmm. and, and good Swiss chocolate and bring the Pringles. Oh, and we'll, we'll get you some uh, Good Morning America <laughs> commemorative Pringles to bring to the top of Mount Everest. And, yeah. Well, it sounds like a, a, a real, a true adventure, Christine Boscoff. You do what most of us wish we had the courage to do. It's yeah. nice meeting you, and good luck with taking on Everest. Great, thank you. You take care. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks. And one note for you this morning, Christine Boscoff is in Kathmandu, Nepal today, where she met with Sir Edmund Hillary, the first person to climb Mount Everest.